Hey. The pressure be building, the flesh and the spirit be battling, I gotta stay away. Stay away. Can't lose my faith, cause that's all that I gotta be sinning, it's time that I change my ways. Repentance is all on my mind, I gotta stay righteous, I'm taking it day to day. Stay strong in the battle, I fight, I wanna do right, ain't no time to play safe. I put on that armor, God, commandments gon' keep me alive. We fighting them demons, my spirit on defense, I do what I do to survive. Some wins or some losses, I don't got no options. Repent or I die. The kingdom stay all on my mind. Staying up scriptures, I've been on the ground. Yeah, how will be taking me further? I said I gotta keep it kosher in a room full of vultures. And to them edges, blow the chauffeurs. I'm a L.O.Z. soldier, L.O.Z. soldier I gotta keep it kosher, Israelite mentality We ain't war with flesh and blood, we war with principalities These pastors be manipulating scriptures They some Pharisees, the infidel is worse than these crackers If you ask me, gotta keep it kosher, Israelite mentality We ain't war with flesh and blood, we war with principalities Revelations uh, 21 and 12, right? I wanna see how you answer this question, right? I wanna see how you answer this question, all right? Read. The book of Revelation chapter 21 verse 12 Read and had a wall great and high right this is given an, 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 a, a, a picture right a mental picture of the kingdom of heaven read and had 12 gates uh-huh and at the gates 12 angels right so the kingdom of heaven gonna have 12 gates right 12 angels at the gates read and names written thereon and names are written thereon read which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of israel or what which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Now, I'm going through the gate of Benjamin. He's going through the gate of Benjamin. Both of them are going through the gate of Levi. You'll be going through the gate of Simeon. Where does the non-Israelite person, where is their gate? Because the thing about it is, I now need you to explain to me, when they become a spiritual Israelite, how do we know what tribe they're from? It's only for God to know? All right, so now drop down to verse, drop down to verse... Uh, Verse 14, read. Verse 14. Uh huh. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations. Right. And in them, the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. So, why isn't the description of heaven given to us as an all inclusive thing? Why have names at all? Why not just be a gate for all men who believe in Christ? Right. Because I'm seeing 12 gates, Israelites, 12 pillars, Israelites, but yet you're trying to convince me that the kingdom of heaven is for everybody. Now, Give me Romans 1 and 7. Or give me Romans 1 and 1. Let's explain what the kingdom of heaven is. Because the kingdom of heaven is the kingdom of Israel. And let's prove that. Read. Start at verse 1. Go to Romans chapter 1, verse 1. Read. No, sorry. Acts. I lied. Give me, give me, give me. Yeah, I lied. Yeah, I lied. Give me, give me Acts. Acts. Give me Acts. Acts verse, uh, uh, Acts chapter 1. Uh-huh. Book of Acts chapter 1. Verse 1. Um, start at verse 3. And verse 3. Uh-huh. To whom also... No, no, start at verse 2. Salah. Verse 2. Let to start at verse 2. Sorry. <laughs> uh, the former treaty uh -huh. have I made, O Theophilus, right. of all that Jesus began both to do and teach, uh -huh. until the day in which he was taken up. Right. After that, he, through the Holy Spirit, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. Okay, read. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, uh -huh. being seen of them 40 days, uh -huh. and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Speaking to, pertaining to what? The things like pertaining to the kingdom of God. So this is Christ, right? Christ is speaking, right? He's giving an account of Christ speaking to his apostles, whom he chosen pertaining to the things of the kingdom of God. Read. And being assembled together, with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, uh -huh. but wait for the promise of the Father, right. which said he, he have heard of me. Read. For John truly baptized with water, uh -huh. but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. Okay, read. Awesome. When they, therefore, were come together, they asked of him, saying... So these are his apostles about to ask him a question. Right, but we see that he was already speaking to them pertaining the king pertaining to things of the kingdom of God, right? Saying, uh -huh. Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? So if I'm an apostle of Christ, he just finished speaking to me about the kingdom of God. Wouldn't it be selfish of me to then ask about the kingdom of Israel? Because the kingdom of God 
if it's different from the kingdom of Israel, as an apostle of him, I shouldn't be worried about the kingdom just for me and my people. I should be worried about the kingdom for everybody. But they're asking about, are you, when are you going to restore again the kingdom to Israel? Because the kingdom of Israel is the kingdom of God, because the kingdom of God is where the Israelites are going to be in rulership. Now let's see what he says. Read. And he said unto them, uh -huh. it is not for you to know the times or the seasons right. which the Father have put in his own power. Now, he didn't respond and say, why are you worried about the kingdom of Israel? I'm talking about the kingdom of God, the kingdom for everybody. No, the kingdom of God is when the kingdom of Israel is returned on the face of the earth, which is why when we read in Revelations 21 and 12, the kingdom of heaven is described as having 12 gates with the nation, with the, with the tribe's name on it, and 12 pillars of the 12 apostles. All of this continues to point to the children of Israel. Now, listen, the, 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 the standpoint that you have, it's not uncommon. We've heard it before. But we now have been learned enough to understand how to cast down that stronghold. Because this is the thing about it. The reason why you're saying what you're saying is because you have compassion. That's, that's how our people are. We have compassion. And you want to see anybody who loves Christ, you want to see them come in. But the fact is that the Most High God has a will that he did not have to consult you about. And if his will is to give the kingdom of heaven solely to the children of Israel, there's nothing you can do about it. No, I understand that, bro, but we still have different definitions of Israel, bro. That's not but, change, but, bro. but that's the thing about it. You're saying that you have a, def a different definition of Israel, but I want you to show me where you got that other definition go, go from to, in the Bible. Go to, go to Mark 16, verse 16. Is that going to give me the definition that I'm looking for? Go to Mark 16, verse 16. Uh, are you going to give me the definition? Is, is that going to give me the definition that I'm looking for? All right, go ahead. The spiritual versus the physical bro and of what though the spiritual and the, the kingdom of god man no no, no i'm i'm, I'm restoring, uh, no because restoring no. them and they're they're being under us right but, of course okay so go to go to mark chapter 16 verse 16. all right and, and what is this going to prove this is going to show you bro about the kingdom of heaven because you started speaking on the kingdom of heaven so i wanted to stay there okay all right we're going all right we're going so so we're going we to make sure we conclude on the kingdom of heaven before we do, before we go anywhere else right mark 16 to 15 right. he said wait 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 Go ahead. Yeah, 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 go ahead. The book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 15. Read. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world uh -huh. and preach the gospel to every creature. Uh -huh. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Right. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Okay, okay. now you see, baptism, bro. Okay. What's the symbolism of baptism? Being born again, right? Yes. So when we say, we say, if he believes, Say to him if a white man says, you know what, God, I don't want to follow you, and gets baptized and, says, and believes, he's not saved, but that's what the scripture's saying, bro. And give it says the whole world. Give me Isaiah say 14 and verse, give me Isaiah 14 and verse 1. But now, let's, Jesus speaking, that's, No, 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 I, I, I get it, I get it, I get it, right? Now, this is the thing about it. If that's the case, right, if that's the case, okay. when he read Luke 1 and 68 to you, and it said, that the God of our fathers have raised up a horn of salvation for us, that we may be we may be saved from our enemies. Who are the children of Israel's enemies? Is my question. Like I said, like I said, bro, people. It's my definition. Uh huh. People who don't follow Christ and, and practice iniquities versus people who choose to follow God. Okay. So are you so are you saying that the Most High God is going to be dealing with individuals and not nations? I believe that God is, is first of all, God, let's say y'all want people, right? Uh -huh. On judgment day, is he going to call up your whole nation together or is he going to call you one he's gonna judge. He's going to judge, the, he's going to judge the nation of Israel as a whole. But the Bible says um, salvation is independent. Salvation is independent. Like, on who? Like salvation, like my salvation has nothing to do with you. You have to work out your own salvation. Yes, I agree. Right. Okay, but so he's gonna he's gonna judge our nation, and the reason why I brought that up is because when the children of Israel went into slavery on slave ships, mm -hmm. are you saying that every single Israelite? Matter of fact, I got a better question for you. Ezekiel was born where? In Babylon. What did Ezekiel do to be born a slave? To be born in captivity? What did he do? But what did his forefathers do? All right. So what we're saying is, when we say white people, obviously these white people seem nicer because you wasn't born in 1717. But you would have a different, if I could travel back in time and tell our ancestors what's going to happen to the white man, they would clap. Because you know what? They see, they, but this is the thing about it. It's not about them being racist and being delivered. It's about the promises that are given to the children of Israel. What you're, what you're trying to do is say, you know what? 
I know the Most High God has something reserved for the children of Israel, but I want that to be for everybody. But, 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 but this is the thing about it. When the white man made his country, he didn't give a damn about you. He didn't care. Guess what? When he made his restaurant, Isaiah, right? when he, yeah, yeah, when he, well, I'm going to read, read that, read that. Right. The book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Tell me if this happened, tell me if this, if this happened already, right? Or if this is a future prophecy, read. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Uh-huh. And you and we yet choose Israel. Right. And set them in their own land. Uh-huh. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Right. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Uh-huh. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Uh-huh. And the house of Israel shall possess them. All right, so it seems like kingdom of heaven is for everybody, right? Bring on to Israel. Right, read. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. For what? For servants and handmaids. Read. And they shall take them captives uh -huh. whose captives they were. They shall do what? Take them captives whose captives they were. Why is the children of Israel taking people captives if we're all about to go into the kingdom of heaven right now? I want to know why. I want to know why the children of Israel are taking people captives. Because this is supposed to be everybody who believes in Christ and is being saved. Why are the children of Israel bringing captives into their land? I'm not gonna sit here and say I've studied this in profoundness to go and tell you. That's an honest answer. I'm gonna be honest. That's, a, that's an honest answer. That's like, an honest answer. Now give me the one in Revelation. Power over the nations. But before you leave, uh, Isaiah. I, I, Isaiah Jesus, what? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus says the, the the kingdom of heaven is for what? For the children, right? The children, children of who? Children of God. And who are the children of God? Is everybody a child of God? Who, what about my so, definition, everybody who decides to follow God and repent? And oh, oh all right, all right. Hold on, we're gonna get your Isaiah scripture. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, and verse 26. Read. And he that overcometh, and who? And he, he that, that overcometh, overcometh uh -huh. and keepeth my works unto the end, right. shall to overcome, him shall I make a nation of the kings of the earth. Now, read. And he that overcometh, uh -huh. and keepeth my works unto the end, shall to him what I give power over the nation. Nah, you misquoted that one. Go ahead and read it again. And he that overcometh, and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation. So why is Christ giving people power to rule over other people if at this time it's, it's supposed to be the kingdom of get heaven and did everybody should? Did Jesus have power? Of course he had power. How did he rule? What do you mean how did he rule? He, he was a good shepherd. Com compassion, he was helping. When God establishes oh, oh. you above other people, bro, uh -huh. it's for you to help them. All right, people. cool. Now listen, not, not, not listen because he spoke too fast. Now read 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, uh -huh. as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Is that, does that sound like what you just explained? <laughs> no, but this is the thing about it, Melo. Um, we're not clowning you, we're not joking you. No, what we're saying no, is we're we're used to, we used to be in your position. We used to have that compassion, but we have to understand that we have to now get down with the will of God. That's what we have to get down to. It's not always, give me um, bitter, bitter, sweet, uh, when you go into the belly, um, the Bible you know, remember, you that one cap? First Thessalonians. The, 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 it's sweet when it go into the mouth, but then it's bitter in the stomach, right? And the reason why I'm saying is because... scroll that he ate? Yeah, and it, yeah. It, but it's the thing about it, because when you find out you're an Israelite, you find out you're a chosen people of God, it's cool, we jump, jumping for joy. But then when you find out, right? That, all right, read that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, and verse 1. Uh -huh. now, Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, right? he that thou findest, eat this roll uh -huh. and go speak unto the house of Israel. Right. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. Uh -huh. And he said unto me, son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Uh -huh. Then did I eat it. And it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Right. And he said unto me, son of man, Go get the No, that's not the one. Okay. The uh, one when he the bitter the, the, right, it, it, right, it was right. a bit I believe it's some, somewhere in Revelation. Right? Uh, I believe it's somewhere in Revelation. But what basically 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 the, the, the message is as an Israelite Melo, you have to keep the laws of God. Because I'm gonna put it to you like this. Whether you believe other nations can be saved or not, at the end of the day, that's not your call to make. What you're responsible for is the keeping of God's law. That's it. That's all I'm trying to say. Right? Sanctification of your spirit. There's, there's, there's the great, um, there's the salvation, and then there's the commission. All right, let me ask. Right? Let me let me ask you. Let me I ask have you. to preach the gospel to the, all the nations. Bro. Okay. Now, when you preach the gospel to all these nations, what are you going to say to them? I'm like, bro, listen. Give me Acts 14. I mean, I'm, obviously, I'm gonna tell them, listen, bro. God got more people. Show the love of Christ. Uh -huh. Tell them to repent. And follow Christ, bro. Okay. Don't forget about that. 
Um, what's the what's the what's the one what's the go, go to the one in Isaiah? I gotta get my I gotta get my script to find so it. So what I was about to say with them, this this is what I was trying to say. Hey, uh, um, Captain Tajima, can you get my scripts out of my bag real quick? So that's trying to uh, um, this was, that was in my, trying to in my in my book bag. This is what I was trying to let bro know. I said I told him you need to you need to test me to understand the Old Testament, right? Because they didn't have the Holy Spirit. We have it. You know that by the Bible, right? We, you said uh, we need the New Testament to no, understand the me, Old let me, Testament? Let me, let me rephrase that. We need Jesus' point of view so we can see through the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to understand the whole Bible, correct? Yes or no? You needed to you needed to, have to, to to be able to discern certain things. But you don't need the Holy Spirit, Spirit to understand that's what I feel. Okay. That's what I'm saying. But, but I'm saying you, you need it though. You need yeah, it. You, you do need you okay. do need the Holy Spirit. Okay. Because it gives you it gives In you power. Isaiah, what was he saying his people were servants? What Isaiah? What though? Isaiah's is a long book, the bro. You, book you got about Isaiah. He keeps saying we must be servants of God. We must servants will inherit this. Servants will inherit that. When we go to Jesus, you know what he says? The children, the child Acts inherits. 13. Who in, Who inherits, brother? Who inherits? The child or the servant? Who inherits? The children do. So Isaiah, the whole time there was still something missing. Even though he was following God, he still needed the Holy Spirit because he still called himself a servant. He said it throughout the whole book, guys. That servant, servant, servant. What? We get to God, we get to Jesus. He's like the children of God in here. Now it's child. Why do you think it was so confusing for the Pharisees? Like. Fair you gotta give me. You gotta. I, I can't agree with you because you have to give me a certain scripture because I don't know if what you're saying is in context with your explanation. Okay. Gold is precious, but Lord, see his price. I don't wanna mind, might leave you like. 